My name is Lillian Baguma. I'm a mother of three and I've been married for 34 years. After being in marriage for 34 years and growing up children who are now adults, I've been praying for them all through. And I did not think that attending a prayer conference of this nature was going to be different from what I already know. But the moment I received the first protocols, I realized that uh, Travails of Mothers is a different kind of mentorship program. And I was set to learn more and to understand more. So I focused myself and set up myself to make sure that I learn and I do all the activities that were sent to us. Of course, the activities were a bit challenging, but also enticing in terms of discovering areas of strength and areas of weaknesses. Indeed, I came with my written draft, but I was blown off, really blown off, when at the end of it, all we needed to come up with as declarations with the many things that I wrote could be covered in three or four points. And here I was with about five pages of written prayer requests for my children. I want to thank God that this has taught me a lot about prayer. It has, and first and foremost, I, to understand that it is the most important things that I need to bring up in prayer at the higher level and not in a petty manner. And I believe I can now go back and revise my draft and come up with the, the prayer declarations that will be good enough, far from where I began, with about 16 points, I can now have Probably I'll come up with a three or four. And to me, that is a big improvement from where I was and what I thought was prayer. And yet it was uh, a mention of little things here, little things there. Yet prayer is wholesome. I want to, rem to remind us that actually the disciples asked Jesus to teach them how to pray. And it looked a simple thing. But when you get into the practical approach used by the travails of mothers to actually put it in practice, then you realize that 